What's going on, Mud Trekkers? Welcome to Mud News. Email us at mudtrekkernews at gmail.com. We definitely have to get into this video right here. You know, these are the type of freight brokers that truck drivers say are taking all of the money. He's showing a board right here of anything over $2,500. He says he makes 40%. And anything over $10,000, he says he makes over 50%. This is how much you can make as a freight broker, even if you have felonies on your record or just got out of prison. We get 40% of anything over 2500 and we get 50% of anything over ten grand. Now, so many truck drivers are jumping on this TikTok and saying, man, this is why truck drivers are starving. But then the felon entrepreneur is saying, you don't know how much I'm paying these truck drivers. And at the end of the day, is it the freight broker's fault or is it the truck driver for taking this cheap load, right? And so, my truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? You know, let's share this video right here. But is this type of freight broker the problem in our trucking industry and why we are dying? Comment down below. I really want to hear from you guys. Let me show you the commission board for the day. This is the commission board. You see me, 29, 67, and 3,200. That's probably like three or four grand. It's only Tuesday. I got the rest of the week. He's at 12,500, so he gets 50%. He's probably like 62.50 for the week and everybody else. When I post these videos about how much we make, people don't realize how much we pay the driver and the work that's actually put in to get these type of numbers. We call hundreds of people a week and take in a lot of phone calls and a lot of our sales don't convert. But as long as you're consistent and keep at it and know what you're doing, the money will come. It took me about six or seven months of nonstop self-development in the freight industry just to be able to get where I was at today. Not to mention the four or five months in the beginning where I didn't put up a dollar. This is a hard job, but it's an opportunity for anybody who's willing to learn, especially if you got out of prison. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Of course, everyone always recommends get direct customers, cut out the broker. But the truth is, every time I talk to an owner operator, they do use freight brokers. And so are there any good decent freight brokers out there that are not straight just scamming and taking all of the money from the load right that's the question so you know what i propose here is i would like to have a freight broker on the show and tell me is one of y'all doing decent business treating truck drivers with respect and what do you think about a guy like this you know, I'm just being honest, right? Now, he keeps on saying that he's not saying how much he's paying the driver. But if the driver's taking it, then that means that they are okay with the load. So at the end of the day, I mean, who is really at fault? You know, the person that put up the load or the person that takes the load, right? And I, and honestly, in my opinion, I think it always freaking sucks because, yeah, they might go out and get the connection, but the driver has to do all the work and take all the risk. And so, you know, should there be a cap on how much they can take? Because damn well, 40 to 50% off of 2,500 or a $10,000 load, it's way too much money.